All right, Garrett here from GDC MMA. I've got Ryan Dixon. We're going to be doing some uh, predictions here for UFC 160. <clears throat> amazing card. Every fight on this card is amazing, but uh, we, we picked out, I, I believe, six, and we're going to go over those. Um, all right, so to start it up, um, interesting fight here. We've got Mike Kyle versus Rick Story. What do you think? Uh, Rick Story controls the fight. Um, he's just been looking too good lately and his style doesn't fit well for Mike Powell. Mike Powell is a tall, skinny, weaker-ish welterweight and uh, Rick Story is a truck of a welterweight so I think Rick Story takes him down or beats him up on the feet wherever he wants. Yeah, um, I, I can't necessarily disagree with you. Uh, I think Story's uh, got reinvigorated after he got choked out there um, pretty quickly. But um, I'm going to say Pyle because uh, I like him. I'm biased and uh, he's a Hollywood star. And he's, he's, uh, he's going to win by decision or knockout. Um, our next fight, I can't wait for this fight. Totally stoked. Donald Cerrone versus KJ Nunes. Um, this is, this is going to be a good stand-up fight. I really don't know who's going to win. I, if I have to pick, I think uh, Cerrone by decision. But it's a very close fight. Yeah, this one, it, it's interesting. Um, I'm glad that KJ Nunes is in the UFC. Um, Donald Cerrone, after that last fight, getting picked apart like that, um, I think he, he's got a fire lit, lit underneath him as well. Um, if, they, if, they, if they just stand up and, and bang, um, I think uh, Cerrone is going to take it. So I'll say second round TKO. Um, this fight's awesome. They have announced that whoever wins this fight um, is going to be the number one contender. It's an interesting one. We got a Canadian boy on it. Gray Maynard versus TJ Grant. How do you think this fight plays out? I think uh, Gray Maynard wins by, if he wrestles, and I think he will, I think Gray Maynard wins by decision. Yeah. Um, unfortunately for TJ Grant, I mean, uh, TJ Grant has been on a run since, especially, especially since he went down weight class. Um, he's looked amazing. He's had some brawls, but someone with um, Gray Maynard's wrestling pedigree and being able to grind him out against uh, TJ, I don't think it's going to serve him too well. Um, and Gray, you know, Gray's always at the top of the division, um, so he'll probably get another title shot. I think Gray Maynard's going to take it as well. We're on the same page here, brother. Um, we've got Glover Texiera versus James Tahuna. This one's going to be a banger. What do you think? That's a good fight. I think uh, I'm going to have to say Tahuna. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to go against everybody. I think, awesome. I think Tahuna clips him. And, uh, you think he's yeah. gonna be, Glover's going to be too sloppy? or? No, I just think Glover's going to... I don't know. I think he... I think... I just see that Tahuna knocks him out. I think for this fight, I can't wait to see Tahuna's walkout. Um, if it's as good as his last one, if they practice as much, it could be interesting. Uh, maybe not something from the 90s this time, right, buddy? Um, but uh, you know what? This is awesome because I get to actually go against you here. Um, I think Glover takes this one all day. Uh, I think he mixes it up. And, I mean, Tahuna, in all honesty, was lucky to get out of the first round with Ryan Jimmo in his last fight, right? Um, I don't think he'll be you know, that lucky with, with Glover. I think Glover will take him out second round. Um, all right, we've got Junior Dos Santos versus Mark Hunt. Fucking can't wait for this fight. Excuse the language. I think Junior wins. I think he stays on the outside and wins by uh, TKO. Yeah, I would, I would pick that normally. And Junior is one of my favorite guys in the sport. Just to be crazy and way out there, though, I'm, I'm going to ride the... Uh, the fantasy train and say Mark Hunt. Um, it, it really depends on the, how this fight plays. If, if Junior does stay on the outside, um, or if he mixes it up. I mean, we've never really seen his jiu-jitsu game, right? And he says he's got to be trains with Nogueira brothers. Yeah, like you never know, right? So uh, if uh, if he mixes it up and, and takes Hunt down and tries to switch it up like that, that could be interesting. But yeah, I'm gonna go for Hunt. I'm I'm gonna say he's gonna be aiming for that chin and. Uh, He'll take Dos Santos out. I, I'll regret that pick, most likely. Um, the title fight. Me, personally, I, I really can't see why they booked this fight again. It, it doesn't make much sense to me. I mean, yeah, Antonio Bigfoot Silva was impressive um, against Overeem. 
But I just think that fight was, you know, a little mismatch. I don't think Overeem's head was in it properly. He was Getting coming back. And... Yeah, and, and he looked bad. Like, his hands down, and, he, you know, he just wasn't fighting properly. And, and, and maybe it had something to do with his testosterone levels. I, I don't know. They were saying something like that. I don't, I don't think it was. I just think he wasn't in the right mind frame and had his hands down and was fighting sloppy. I don't think it really looked, you know, it, it was an amazing fight, but I don't think it, it showed how good Antonio Silva was to get a title shot, but maybe they just didn't have very many more options, right? Um, so it's Cain Velasquez versus Antonio Silva again. Last time, he absolutely fucking murdered him. It was like a bloodbath scene on the canvas. What do you think happens? I, this I think it's the same thing. I think Cain takes him down, but this time it's going to have to be off the cage because uh, Bigfoot's going to move this time. So Cain's going to pressure him, get him down off the cage, and just man him. Yeah, well, Silva last time, the first thing he did was throw a kick. I don't think he's no, going to do not. anything that no. dumb this time. And who knows what the game planning. I just think that he's too big and, 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 and you know, it, it, you, he can't move fast enough to, to deal with Cain Velasquez. And, yeah, I think it's going to be a murder again. Um, I'll, I'll say first round again. Yeah. So we're, we're kind of on the same page with a lot of those picks. But uh, UFC 160, Garrett, Ryan Dixon, we're up. Yeah, I think it's going to be the same. Murder. It's going to be a murder.